of the Nexus hand. We've got 14 grips available. These different grips can be used for a whole array of tasks. We've got the key grip, which can be used to hold a knife. Uh, we've tested that to cutting a steak, so it can be used to cut a steak. We've got the mouse grip, which can be used for, for a mouse when you're working. Um, we've got an integrated flex wrist, which can be locked into three different positions, which has been a great feature for, for users because it reduces shoulder compensation, reduces pain associated with uh, the overcompensation. Um, we've got the e-paper screen, which helps users because it always tells them what grip and table they're in. We've got the IP44 dust and water resistance, which basically withstands a heavy shower, so the hand can be used outdoors. We get that question a lot, whether the hand can be used for outdoor activities, and it can. Um, we have the passively flexing fingers and thumb, and the powered rotation of the thumb. Before, with manual rotation of the thumb, sometimes you can inadvertently move the hand in the socket, so the powered rotation avoids that. So we have powered thumb rotation, uh, which is good because with manual thumb rotation, sometimes the hand can inadvertently twist in the socket. Um, we also have a novel feature which we designed, which is called the thumb tap. Basically, you tap the thumb and the powered rotation kicks in and it swings between opposed and non-opposed positions. This can be mapped, so users can basically assign a, a function to, to this feature. Uh, we also have the flex, the passive flex in the fingers and the thumb. That makes the hand a lot more durable. If it's ever struck, it basically moves out of the way, doesn't break. And we also have an integrated flex wrist. Now, this has a free flex state, which basically means that users, it, it improves embodiment because the hand moves with the user and it's a lot more natural looking, but it can be locked into three positions and that helps with shoulder compensation. So a lot of the time users overcompensate with their shoulders and that can be quite painful, so this reduces that overcompensation. We also have the e-paper screen, which tells users what grip and what table they're in. At first, it could be quite confusing coming to terms with all the different grips that we have available. Um, and so this table, this screen always tells them what grip and table they're in, and so they never get lost in their config.